Let's take a look at this radical equation. You got square root of 4x. I get my pen to work. There it goes. Square root of 4x plus 3 is equal to x plus 4. Um, now, solving radical equations, our first step is to get a radical by itself. So I'm going to take the 3 and move it to the right side. So we get square root of 4x is equal to x plus 4 minus 3. So square root of 4x is equal to x, 4 minus 3 is 1. Now step 2 in solving radical equations. Raise both sides to a power equal to your index. This is a square root, so we're going to score both sides. When your index matches the power, they cancel each other away, so that leaves us 4x. x plus 1 squared is x plus 1 times x plus 1. x times x is x squared. x times 1 is 1x or x. 1 times x is 1x or x. And 1 times 1 is 1. Combine together like terms in any step. x plus x is 2x. And there's no more radicals. We go on to the next step, step 4, which says solve for x. Well, we have got a quadratic, an x squared, so we want to get everything over one side. So I'll take 4x over. And we get x squared plus 2x minus 4x plus 1. 2x minus 4x is negative 2x plus 1. And this is the PSD method x squared x no x no number in front of our x squared take the number at the end and come up with our three columns kind of a boring one but uh, the only product gives us one is one times one add those together one plus one is two subtract them one minus one is zero number we're looking for is a number in our middle term which is right here which means we use one and one now our larger number, and they're actually both 1, so, uh, but our larger number is always the same sign as the middle term, which was negative. The number of circles in the S column, S for same sign. So if this one's negative, this one's also negative. Now zero factor property. Since we've got zero on one side and we factored the other side, we can set each factor equal to zero. Now since these are the same, all we have to do is set one of them equal to zero. So I'll set x minus 1 equal to zero and solve, and we get x equals 1, maybe. Remember, we have to check our answer. If I put 1 here, 4 times 1 is 4, square root of 4 is 2. So we've got 2 plus 3, that gives us 5 on this side. If I put 1 in for the x here, 1 plus 4 is 5, so you get 5 equals 5. So this one checks, and that's our answer. Oops, I forgot to...